Imogene Coco, uh, I think everyone will agree, who has ever seen the show of shows, because that was her great moment, those moments with Sid Caesar. She's a very sweet woman, a very kind woman, very gentle, very shy, not like some of the cuckoos that she plays when you see her on, on the air, uh, very professional. I enjoyed working with her very much. She, 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 she's very much like, in a way, like Mary Tyler Moore. They're both, and Carol Burnett to a degree, they're, they're, they're women that are really decent women that, that uh, put themselves up there and uh, on display and yet don't scream and yell and are professionals and, and do their job and really try and help in what is always a difficult problem. Doing a weekly live television show is a very difficult business. And those three women, and Emma was very much that way, and very funny and... Versatile as well. Great to work with. Well, she was what she was, you know. She was an unusual looking woman, and she, but she did all those faces and the things, and, but she had great empathy. People liked her. And yet, and my own dealings with her, I found her not to have a whole lot of confidence, even though she had quite a bit of success. I would say she had very little confidence. They tell a story. I don't know whether it's true because I wasn't there, but I've heard the story so many times that when she and Sid Caesar were doing your show on shows that the announcer live, the announcer would say, Sid Caesar and Imogene Coco, and they would run to sinks at opposite side of the stage and throw up before they would come out. I don't know if that's true, but... I heard it so many times that maybe it is. 